Hey Leo, hope you're all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of December 2021 and it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Leo. And as always, it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That's perfectly okay. It can't resonate every time. If you want though, you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box if you are interested. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on for you first half of December. All right, we have pride and ego. Okay, so pride and ego could be um, a big issue in this connection, okay? Um, either you or the other person, maybe the both of you. We'll see, we'll see what spirit has to say about this ego, all right? Is it being broken down? Is it standing strong or what? Well, let's find out. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and you know, pride and ego does sometimes tend to be um, a quality, quality that Leo does have, but I'm not going to jump to conclusions and automatically say that this is you, but let's see. Alright, so for the situation we have the Knight of Cups crossed by the Knight of Pentacles. All right, okay, so somebody is um, wanting to come in and make an offer of love, um, but the challenge is actually putting that into practice, actually coming up with, with a practical plan and actually doing it. So it could feel like this person is really procrastinating, just really taking for forever to come in. For the recent past, we have the Page of Swords, and for the near future, we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so there may have been some communication in the past um, for some of you in, in the recent past. Not necessarily, though. Okay, this could definitely be um, somebody following you or you following them, like on social media, or just being very curious, being very interested in what is going on, all right, in the recent past. Um, there is some action possibly coming up in the near future. Let's see your energy. We have the Four of Wands for them. Judgment. For you, we also have the Sun, all right, so that's Leo, your energy showing up. For them, we have the Five of Swords and potential outcome here. Oh, we have death. All right, which death could be um, some kind of a transition, some kind of a metamorphosis. Again, we'll see more when, when we clarify, but it definitely does talk about some kind of an ending here. Um, I do see you really wanting um, a commitment with this person, with that Four of Wands. Well, there is a commitment here, all right, in your energy, but I'm mostly seeing it as how you are feeling about this person. Um, you feel like this person would fulfill you, like this is just the person you want to be with, end of story. That simple. Um, for them, with Judgment and the Five of Swords, they're having a major wake-up call. Um, I do feel like this is some kind of a transformation that this person is going through. I do feel like they're bringing some resistance to that, or they're like... almost like um, stubbornly wanting to win over the wake up call but like that's never possible because this is like divine intervention here like something is happening something big is happening in their life kind of forcing them to make some kind of a change it's um yeah so the way that it's looking here is that it's the other person unless the roles are reversed okay which could be the case it's looking like the other person is the one um not making this move. It could definitely be you as well because if you're picking up on their energy, maybe you're not. You're wanting to make a move, you want to make an offer and you're not. Um, definitely could be the case, but I'm seeing it more of it being them, all right? Um, because they're also in this Five of Swords energy, kind of like going against what they're being called to do. But there is some kind of an ending here. An ending, I feel, to this situation, to whatever it is that's happening. But let's clarify and get more details. So let's see the Knight of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. Alright, we have the Six of Pentacles, 
the Six of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so two sixes here. Um, yeah, and the Knight of Pentacles showing up a second time. Again, it's coming in, see, here's the Six of Wands, and I'm not surprised to see that because that can definitely talk about ego. All right, so yeah, I feel like somebody here is um, really holding back because of ego. That's why they're not coming up with this plan. Um, possibly they are moving very, very slowly towards this. Like, I do get that, that they want some kind of victory. I mean, that's even true with the Five of Swords, right? It's like this person... I see them wanting this connection, but because of ego, they don't want it to happen in a way where it would be like losing face, or they don't want it to be in a way where it's going to be threatening to their ego. It's like they want the victory, they want, you know, to win in this connection, but almost like they're, they don't want to be the ones to take responsibility. That's what I'm getting here. I almost feel like they want to be given, they they want to be the ones that are being given to rather than being the ones that are giving um, parts of their ego away kind of a thing. Let's see that four of wands in your energy. Yeah, ace of cups, this is really simple. And the seven of cups. Yeah, you're feeling a lot of love for this person. Um, a lot of love for you. It's like, yeah, this is just the person that I want to be with. All right, as I said before. But there, you know, there is possibly certain things that you might not be seeing here, or maybe there's some. Let me get one more. The Ten of Wands. Okay, yeah, I feel like you are. I feel like there's a lot of thinking here, possibly a lot of fantasizing maybe, like just thinking about the, the, the various scenarios of how this could play out, of how this Knight of Cups could come in, or maybe for some of you even if you should be the one um, taking this, this, um, this role as the Knight of Cups. Definitely not for all of you, all right? I know there's a lot of you that, you know, just feel like it's the other person's... Um, responsibility here so it really it depends okay everybody's different but I see you wanting or if it's not wanting it's like the message for you is to try to release all these scenarios that play out in your mind because I feel like you know thinking about the future and what could happen or what could have happened or how this could go or what you know what I can do for whatever reason it's not serving you at this point in time and for a lot of you, it is that you are releasing that. Because it weighs heavy on you. You know, it just, it just kind of, it burdens you. Let's see the sun. The Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so I am getting that for some of you, you, you do want movement um, or possibly you do want to take movement towards that, that commitment. I feel like you, you are thinking about making that first move here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see for them. Let's see judgment and I'm going to come back to that. Three of Cups, the Lovers, and the Six of Swords. All right, so we do have Gemini showing up here. Um, this person is having a major wake-up call about how they've been avoiding um, this love connection. That Lovers energy. Um, the Three of Cups, even... A wake-up call as to what it is that makes them happy. What is it that makes them feel light? What is it that makes them feel like celebrating? All right, there's been a lot of, you know, avoiding that. And I feel like, like I said before, like with that Five of Swords, I feel like they are still trying to avoid that, but they can't, all right? Because this energy is there. And they're having a major, major wake-up 
wake up call so they could be getting signs synchronicities um it's like you know the universe is pretty much just blowing this horn like in their ear and i'm getting that for a lot of them it's happening while they're sleeping all right so they could even be having dreams about you but um there's yeah it's like it's it's getting really loud is what i'm hearing here is there it's getting really really loud about this connection and this possibility or this potential of a reconciliation because that is what it is that they want So let's see that Five of Swords. Look at that. They're getting judgment for the second time. It's like they're trying to play a mind game with the universe and it's like you cannot win. <laughs> you cannot win against the universe. Like that's just not, that's just not possible. Um, <laughs> Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so the more that this person tries to play against the universe, like just the more um, left out in the cold they're going to feel because they're not following their intuition because the universe, whatever is putting out there for them, it is to assist them, right? Towards what it is that fulfills them, towards what it is that they want, helping to move them towards their own alignment. And so if they resist that, the more they resist that, the more, the more alone they actually, they actually feel. And again, I mean, with that two of swords, it's like, trying to block out what the universe is saying. No, that's just making them feel alone. So then it's like this cycle that starts again. So they feel alone. So the next time they're gonna hear it a little bit louder as it goes. Let's see that Ace of, who just had Temperance and the Ace of Wands just flip over. Um, yeah. Which again, that temperance is, is definitely about healing and learning and also learning how to moderate your own self in the way, like the way that it's playing out in this reading, that would be not being so against the, the universe and, you know, your higher self for them. Not, not being so extreme because I'm seeing this as being extreme behavior. So for the Ace of Swords. The Four of Swords, the, the Nine of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, something's definitely happening. happening. And what I feel like this Ace of Swords is this person actually um, understanding the truth, hearing that judgment, hearing that wake up call, all right, which is throwing them into a deep, a deep sense of healing, which is not going to be easy. All right, it's definitely not going to be easy. And it's something that's going to require, I feel a lot of courage and a lot of strength to really have to push through because I feel like basically what it is, it's, it's breaking through that ego. Breaking through that ego and that's and that's never an easy thing to do. And all of this, ultimately, um, you know, it's like your connection is showing up here. So it's like seeing the truth of this connection and because of that, some kind of healing, like, like the, their energy is softening, which is not easy. All right, so let's see death then for the potential outcome here. I hope that's the death of the ego. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we have the moon. All right, so Pisces energy showing up, the five of wands and the king of wands. Yeah, it's definitely an ending um, to that conflict, to the, um, I'm even seeing this moon together with the king of wands as being the ego because this is like, it's like the ego is the opposite of what is repressed, but then parts of the ego are also repressed because we're not aware of it and how it functions, right? So yeah, it can get it can get pretty complicated, but basically this is the ending of, you know, the unconscious playing out. That whole conflict fighting against their own self here. And, and that ego, which is coming into play.
I do also feel like this is some kind of a transitional period for you as well, all right, with that King of Wands showing up there. Um, because I do feel like there has been a bit of a struggle for you as well, not knowing, all right, what is happening here, what is happening in the situation, which causes you to just have all of these um, scenarios playing out. So I do see that also like coming to an end, but I'm mostly seeing that this is for your person here. Because they've been like their whole reaction, it's like unconscious, right? Like it's just a defense mechanism. And that's hidden here right deep inside it, it th th those are repressed um, mechanisms here that are playing out with the moon and so that's what I feel is being conquered being conquered and an ending of that maybe slowly but but it is happening all right Leo so if this resonated let's see the final message for you Yeah, and we have unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. And that is exactly what I was saying. You don't, it's okay to not know what is going to happen in the future. Not knowing what is happening here with this person, all right? Um, suffice it to know that you are exactly where you need to be. Things are playing out in the way that they, that they should. So yeah, I'm leaving it at that, Leo. Thank you so much for watching and much love.